Alright guys, welcome to another episode of my review. Today we are going to look at the Ignition model RWB Rotana. So as you know, this model is actually a Ignition model web special limited editions. Um, apparently, according to the Japanese IG website, um, it stated that there is a limited of 60 units. However, it wasn't listed in the international website, so I couldn't accurately tell you how many units of this Rotana is being produced. So for most of the special editions or limited edition, it usually comes with either engine or a figurine. For this particular model, it does come with the Mr. Nakai figurine. So as you can see here, uh, Mr. Nakai is in his usual outfit, the hoodies, RWB hoodies, um, jeans and usual sneakers. As you can see, um, there's quite a nice detail for a 118 figure. However, if you want to say about the accuracy or the resemblance of Mr. Nakai-san, I would only give it maybe 7 out of 10. So let's move on to the model cars itself. Okay, let's start with the base. Um, this model actually came without acrylic for information. It just came in the usual plastic PET case. So I don't think I need to talk much about that. Okay, as you can see, the base is actually in carbon pattern. But it's actually not real carbon fiber, obviously. And it comes with nice red color stitchings. And there's actually a plaque here. Return RWB initial model 993 as this is a Porsche 993 alright let's look at the front you can see there's actually a Japanese number plate which I think add another sense of realism to it and you can see the bumper mesh is actually ventilated so it's not a solid piece of plastic so this is very nice touch very nice details and you can see the front lip here written with the German words I don't know how to pronounce that and there's actually a toe hook here I'm not sure whether you can see there's a matte black toe hook here and the headlamp is actually tinted black rather than um, fully matte black like the other Rotana so if you ask me I personally prefer this tinted black one it actually looks more like headlamp but tinted to make it I think looks cooler and the front here you can see there's side carnet I don't know how do you pronounce it do you call it carnet carnet okay so it's pretty aggressive and moving on to the side the extension the fender extension or the fender flare if you call it I particularly like ignition model fender flare So why is it so? Um, not sure whether you can see it from my camera. I couldn't zoom in too near and make it focus. Compared to GT Spirit's um, RWB, the fender flares on the Emission model, there's actually an indentation around the riveting. So there's actually like a little cutout, a little indentation. This is actually extra nice in my opinion compared to uh, GT Spirit's. Uh, GT Spirit is nice uh, with the riveting but it doesn't have the indentation so it's actually less realistic compared to this and you can see on the rims there's actually um, a big brake kit behind the 5 spoke wheels I believe it's works view right correct me if I'm wrong and the tyre is painted idlers which most of the RWB have the tyre painted in idlers and then we have a matte black door mirror, side mirror and a very nice Rotana sticker at the bottom and then right here there's actually a I don't know how to call it, um, side carnet maybe and there's a sticker of Sky Team so looking at the window um, the, the window actually mimic race car style as this car is actually built for the track so it mimic the race car style window with the pushback sliding window and 
then there's another stickers at the rear quarter window. You return 100 Kumho tires. And you can see here the rear extension is actually mental. It extended out so much. It's really really fat and greasy. Look at it. And this winglet is actually very nicely done as well. Okay, moving on to the back. Um, the first thing you will notice will be the crazy double-decker wings. This is actually a very ridiculous design. In my opinion, it looks very similar to one of the car in Carl's cartoon. Not sure if you noticed that. So, um, the bottom half of the spoiler is actually original. Porsche style 911 Turbo or GT2 styles, but they attach uh, extensions with double decker style wings. So there's actually a side decal here. And let's look at the back. Alright. Okay, behind here we actually have a RWB stickers at the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see it. Yep. And then the tail light is actually pretty good in my opinion. And then the this car doesn't come with a bumper obviously as you can see and it has a cutout of the V-Venus which I think is very nicely done by a nation model. See the waviness. I'm not sure if you can see it on the video. Okay, looking at the back, it actually have a full exposed exhaust and turbo. For the Rotana, the exhaust muffler didn't come with the ING wording like the other ignition motor RWB. However, I believe um, they're actually following how the Rotana was actually presented in real life in one to one, so they didn't put that. Personally, I think it looks better with the ING wording extra decal does make it look better and here you can see there's actually a turbo charger and then there's a rear tow hook fitted in red and right here you actually can see the air intake maybe you couldn't see it on the video due to my camera couldn't zoom in that well and focus as it's very dark on that side all right and there's actually a like a mud flap or a water deflectors with a decal inside actually written motis to prevent water splashing onto the air filters to the pot filters and bottom you can see part of the exhaust connecting to the engine let me just bring up some light There's another Motis decal and you can see the Boxer 6 with the exhaust connected to it. Yep. The rear view are very deep, like some crazy deep dish with a very nice uh, BB case, big brickets with some slotted disc brake disc rotors. And on the right side, the quarter window does have another extra stickers. It's actually, a, I believe, it's a Speed Hunter speed, uh, speed Hunter stickers SH. And on the real bonnet, I don't know what do you call it, trunk. So there's actually two bonnet looking locking pin on both sides, and this is like ventilated. The rear window, window are all tinted dark While the front are actually clear Okay, now I'm switching.
attaching to my phone camera so to show you guys the interior of the Rotana there's two bucket seat with four point harness or is it a five point? I believe it's a four point harness with the seat belt inside nicely done you can see there's no door trim it's actually fully stripped out there's just a gear shifter and center tunnel is actually all stripped out as well and then there's a dashboard It's actually fully stripped out as well. You can see all the bare metals. Let's turn around to the other side. So you can see there's actually a, I believe it's a sparkle steering on the rear rotana. I'm not sure if this is sparkle or more. There's a, like a another gauge up there. I'm not sure what is that turbo timer or whatsoever. And I just realized that uh, I actually miss out a couple of the details. First of all, the windscreen do have the rough belt uh, decal, the stickers, and the two viper in some pretty awkward locations. And I just find out, and I wouldn't say find out, I just realized that the wing mirror is actually situated on different places on the car. I'm not sure is it a design of the 993 Porsche. Is it all 993 Porsche like that? If anyone know, please let me know in the comment section below. You can see on this side, the door mirror is actually further in front compared to this side. It's actually further behind. A lot of interesting things you can see this one is right below the front pillar now on this side is behind the front pillar slightly behind the front pillar interesting and of course the roof actually have riveting as well crazy okay that's all for today as um, this is a sale model I couldn't open any of the uh, doors or bonnet for you to see or the hood for you to see So that's all from me today Before ending the review today Please do let me know if you would like to see me review this beautiful 118 scale makeup model ideal line Porsche 911 Singer and do not forget to hit the subscribe button and smash the like button. See you next time.